All right, Forts fans, what's up? Just a casual gaming day today. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. Just some random lobbies. You guys can see the list there. Just nobody, not streaming. We're just playing some games. Uh, as you guys know, we've been having a lot of issues recently with uh, stream sniping and stuff in uh, in Forts. So I'm just gonna make you guys some gameplay where uh, I'm not streaming. And you guys will see that the, the content is much better than in a live stream. Which is unfortunate, but it is the nature of this game now. It's the world we live in, as Incursus would say. And we're going to mute the chat just because there's... When you're playing kind of like uh, random lobbies like this, there's a lot of toxicity. People just like flaming because they can. Uh, we're gonna go something cheesy. We're gonna do some incendiary mortars. That's why we're firebird and Who knows? We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably not good in a 4v4. We know this, but meh. We gonna do it anyway. We gonna do it anyway So I like that the sniper fits in that little spot right there. It's pretty sweet um, And we're gonna drop down this so when I do mortar rushes, I really like to get full eco first uh, and then we can do, this is the Narf build uh, he did in a tournament at one point, I believe. Um, so we'll show you guys this. Big shout out to Narf. Uh, awesome, super unorthodox player. Literally breaks all of the seven golden rules. Um, which is pretty sweet because it works. He's kind of uh, similar in AP, APM styles where he just kind of throws APM and stuff. But he comes up with really janky, uh, really janky stuff. Probably didn't need to cross brace this early. Um... Probably should have got the weapons out first, but because we're adding a bunch of weight to the front of the base, and I'm really not worried about rushes out of any of these guys, um, we're gonna just uh, cross brace the base, make sure that uh, nothing tips us over. So I was looking at some lobbies earlier. I was joining random lobbies. I wanted to kind of make like a random lobby video, but all the lobbies had like disable buzz saws or disable uh, EMPs or disable stuff. It's just like all these super noob lobbies. So I was like, well, I'll just make my own then because it's just ridiculous. Now, I don't remember what the distances are for mortars, but I can see that we really don't have anyone. I'm going to recommend. Hey, guys. Those of you building large bases, I have some tutorial videos as to why not to do that. Check them out. I think they can help you guys. 68. Where does 68 take us? Third base? No man's land. Okay. Go a little bit further. That should hit, if I'm not mistaken. Lots of gunners being placed down. Perfect. And that will give us room for Mr. Sniper to do what he does. Since none of the other teammates, obviously, in, in these lobbies aren't going to do anything about it. We'll just shoot the gunners like this. And hopefully we'll get teammates that decide they want to do something. And we can fire like that. And I'm just going to get this guy to keep spending money on gunners. And then essentially he'll be out of the game. He won't be able to do anything. So that's going to be really good. And hopefully that'll give my teammates the edge to, uh, you know, build something and make a comeback. That uh, would be really nice. This guy's just going to keep spending money. And then he's going to spend money on doors. So this is going to be huge. This is really going to delay his his uh, overall gameplay uh, substantially. Now we're going to build up here and move our sniper. Uh, because he's going to be in the way of the mortars that we want to place down. So, now you can hear a couple gunners now. Uh, we'll sell this guy off. And we'll get the sniper up here. Typically, I want to place it there first, but it slows down the rush by quite a bit. So, um, that's why we're not doing it. We got some flak out now, which is not the answer to counter mortars. It can work, but uh, all you have to do is literally shoot them in different orders. And uh, the flak will burn out, and then it does nothing, and then it's useless. So, we also need to get some counterweight on the base. This is what I was worried about before. Uh, of course, I didn't uh, internally brace because I was working on building speed. And uh, so that's what we're going to focus on again here. This guy's got some gunners now behind a single door. So that's cool. Um, my teammates still haven't shot anything yet. We are only at, we're at five minutes, so they don't have any weapons. Um, which is kind of disappointing, but to be expected in random lobbies. 
Uh, five minute mark's usually pretty good. Uh, and then we'll get these firing. I think they're at like 70. Does that work? So, when you see someone going mortars in your lobbies, it's really important that you guys learn to use your snipers. Because nobody uses snipers, and this is the key to like to like winning games like this, right? Uh, I'm gonna mention that you guys really need to learn to use snipers. Uh, we've talked about this lots in the tutorial videos uh, all the time. Now, obviously, I'm gonna be the first one shot, so we're most likely dead in this lobby. Uh, I do want to add some more back weight here. Uh, we'll activate the ability and then we'll fire up here. Teammate's gonna try and protect me. Shoot the base with gunners. Oh, they, see, and then they just shoot random targets and don't shoot random targets. Right, so this will help us. So teammate was nice enough to try and, and protect me, which is really awesome. That's a big, uh, that's a big MLG play right there. Uh, so thank you to whoever that guy is. And we'll get the cross bracing put in here. This was, I was showing, I can't believe I was doing it the other way. I was showing this. Um, there we go. So then what we're going to do is add some additional right up here. Great job from my teammate trying to protect me here while I'm spamming. Uh, incendiary mortars. One of uh, Firebird's best features. Uh, shoot second base. Please. And take out the gunners. Very nice. Well done. Uh, second set is too short. Okay, so the second set needs to be second set needs to be bumped up just a little bit. So we'll go there. And we can queue these guys up to three and sniper on four. And this should be good. Let's set up three to 70% as well on full angle. And that should hit third base relatively well. Nope, hits the front. These two will hit nicely. Again, they're not countering with gunners, so they don't really realize the damage that incendiaries are gonna do here pretty quick. And this dude's basically gonna be out of the game, which is gonna be really great. Fire Incendiaries with Firebird are really, really strong. You guys can see there, all that fire, just it just melts bases. It's really, really strong. Uh, we'll add in one of these just cause, and we're not spending a whole lot of resources. So, and then we'll fire another one there. So, as you can see, he's not really doing a whole lot of damage right now, which is fantastic for us. And the shot comes in here, right up top. Great, it's a good shot. I don't think I had this filled in, actually, which is a big problem. Let's do that and that. We'll add this back in place and do this. And refire. Fortunately, it looks like my teammates have flubbed. They don't know where to shoot anymore, uh, which is really disappointing. All right, we need to hit that guy in the back because he's going to be super cancer. Okay, shoot back base. Be really nice to see my guys get some shotguns, but we know that won't happen, so maybe we will move into it. Guys trying to do buzz saws. Great shot down there. The teammates are really dropping the ball here. And not good. So there's a very good chance now we're on the we're on the back side of this. I lost my energy production. So there's a very good chance now uh, that we're gonna lose. Okay, let's see if we can get them to shoot back base. They're having a hard time following. Very disappointing. And one, two, three. He's good. We have no energy. We're going to be basically toast here now. Disappointing, unfortunately. Um, but it is the way the cookie crumbles. Mortars are very tough. You need to have a very strong team uh, to use them in multiplayer. But we're just memeing right now, so I'm not too concerned about it. 
to be honest. <sighs> so... Now he probably doesn't have an angle on it. My sniper shot's not doing so great there. Seem to have lost the queuing up there. Let's uh, expand the base, I guess. If we're sitting on a bunch of metal, uh, we can fire here. Okay, so fortunately, we've got a couple players that aren't listening, which is common in multiplayer games. Looking like that back base might sell off. We'll just report Adri for, for team killing. Not a big deal. So, and selling off there as well. So their whole team sold off. That's really disappointing, guys. So teamwork with mortars is really important, guys. Uh, stay tuned for game number two. All right, game number two. I'm actually joined by Alex C here. He randomly popped in the lobby. He decided to do a 2v2. We're going to rock out some more uh, incendiary mortars from Firebird um, and just just have some fun. Again, not, not worried if we win or lose. I mean, with Alex, it should be should be a relatively easy match but i have been duped before it can happen um so we'll just drag these out and we can drop down some energy production sell off the metal here and here and we can put down another one here as soon as we get the metal there we go and we'll get ready for the incendiary mortars here in the front. Again, we're going to use the uh, the Narf setup. He did a really great job on uh, coming up with that. Now, as we said before, it's really important, at least in this situation, to, to get really strong uh, early eco. And uh, so that's what we're going to work on right now. Just down checking our opponents. Sandbags, great. Just to help resist the fire beams, good to start with that early, early defense. Very minimalistic build from both players, actually. That's looking really good. Um, that could be, that could be bad for us trying to do some, some uh, jank, but we'll see. Oh, it didn't snap correctly. That sucks. Hurts my, uh, hurts my feelings. We're gonna wait for, for one more here. Uh, not looking like they're gonna be defending against anything like that. I don't see nukes coming out, which is great. Um, now, this map's kind of interesting. You can build down here and get a whole nother stack of uh, mortars, which I think we might do now that we've got the uh, that down there. Build this in here, and we can start by dropping down some mortys. So, there's one. And looks like they're not ready for it. So, uh, it's going to be good for once. Uh... Bust out early to try and apply some pressure. And Alex C. Getting ready with the Mortys. So he's a little bit ahead of me. Which is to be expected. I went a little more full eco. Just because uh, that's how I prefer to do it. And now we can build ourselves a little bit of a bridge. Coming down here to this little section. And see what we can do. Here. Up. 
quite what it will do. Okay, so again, I haven't played, I haven't done this strat on Wingman before, so I'm a little unfamiliar with the distances that I need to fire. Let's see if these work. Got some gunners there, looking good. Now we'll get our snipey. Uh, specifically because of this map, we're gonna, our sniper can be in a lot uh, better location. So we'll drop a door on there. And, oh, that's not good, we're gonna need one of these. And let's get some double bracing in here just because. Now, if we don't manage to do enough damage here, then we're going to be in a bit of a pickle down the road. I'll hotkey up our sniper. You can see Alex see there working nicely. And, oh yeah, I didn't put the... We should do that anyway. Do this and get the gunner, the sniper ready. Still building. Still building. So annoying. There we go. Just missed. It is. A little higher. There that is. And that, oh, just missed. There we go. So we're going to hit the back guy. Let's try and go for 70 angle. 70 angle from back to back is almost perfect. So we'll make that a 71 angle. Uh, we can drop down this and this because we're not going to use nukes and we'll make it a 71 angle like that and we'll add in one two and three now these ones are guys are going to be exposed but we kind of have map dominance right now so i'm not really concerned about uh well that's not good Okay, so we better get some gunners. Not even taking out the turbines, that's fantastic. Come on! There we go. There's nothing more frustrating than going to like click and drag something and then it just doesn't do that. Then we'll go for 80 on this angle. Looking good there, and that's too far. So we've got a couple gunners done now. Put a shield in here just because. And we need to make sure that we continuously hit this guy. Now the key here is gonna be to not Oh, my gunners went up and over. What was that? Oh, this guy's too far back. Get that built. That's not good. Does that 70 hit? No, it's too short. Too short. 70 can hit. Two. Go a little bit further. There we go. And drop it down right on the front of his base. So we've got a little bit of an issue. We can do one of these. And then two, three. Let's go this one up just a little more. Activate the ability. And this one also up just a little bit more. Beauty. And you can see there Alex C trying to uh, trying to bait out. Which is really good. And we'll aim that angle down lower. And we need the sniper. That'll bounce up and hit him. That's good enough. Three. Needs to go there. There. And there. Hopefully we can just burn them all out. Three's a little short. Okay, so we need to get his energy production because they're just going to keep firing that there. So let's go a little bit further. There, and there, and there. Now we can hit his energy production. We can stop the doors from working. We can do all... There we go. Looking much better here right now. Let's put this guy here. Two, three. Gunner's taking them all out. Lots of fire damage coming in here. We can stop his energy production, then we basically stop his base from functioning, right? Which is exactly what we want. There we go. Uh, we've got the ability to shoot that gunner. He's kind of annoying. Alex C manages to take him out, no problem. So we've got the mortars dialed in here. You can see the death is kind of slow, um, but it feels really good when they all connect. Just look at that. It's just like, it's just so good. It's just so much fire. 
So much fire. Now we're floating resources, of course. So we'll drop one of these down. And we can do this and this and this and this. Get a little bit of extra stuff going on here in the base. Looking like he's going to go down. A couple of them taken out. All right. Now we can focus on the front guy. So we just lower this power down to like 50. Does that work? 50's close. So let's go down to like 45. And like 39. And it's looking like this guy's going to sell off as well. All right. So there it is. Easy GG. And there we have it, guys. Another one. It's into your mortars. They're kind of fun. Uh, I guess hang on for another game. All right, guys. While we were having fun, we're no longer having fun. We were against Mateo and Mandalorian Jedi. So that basically shoots the casual fun stuff down. But we're still going to use the same strats. Alex C is going to use some... Uh, I believe he's going to go swarms with Firebird are also really good. So we'll see. We're just going to try and maybe, you know, upset them by making everything on fire all the time. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens. We're probably going to be against Pinch Fist here, I would think. So uh, the chances of us pulling this one off are pretty rare. Uh, in fact, they're incredibly rare. But we might get lucky. You never know. Um, we'll see, I guess. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> so I think... I sell this off. I think I can get some up there. Now, I haven't really played on this map before. Uh, so this might be a little bit more tricky. Uh, at least this strat on this map. We got to do something like this. And then like this. I think something like this will work. Yeah, that should be all right. That should be all right. We'll get the technology finished here. One of the great things about doing uh, incendiary mortars is that you don't need an upgrade center right away, which is kind of nice. And, uh, like I said, the chances of us taking this one from these two is going to be pretty rare. Looking like, uh, the Pinch Fist sell-off. Going for that quick build. That looks like Mateo. You guys might know him from the replay commentaries of the, uh, Forts tournament that I did on the channel. You guys can check those out. And, uh, I guess we'll see, uh, how this works out for us. Probably not going to be very good, but we are going to uh, put a shield in here just because. And then we'll focus on our eco. Because eco is life and it's needed. So hopefully we don't just die. Pretty sure Mandalorian Jedi is just going to go cannons, which is very common. And Mateo is going to do some laser tech, which is uh, not good for us because that makes it very, very, uh, very strong. And we'll penetrate most of the stuff. The fire beams are going to. Um, basically crush me. I also don't know the range here. We're going to try 60 and we overshot. So this is going to give him an opportunity now to make a comeback, which is not what I wanted. And uh, very important that they don't get that opportunity. Uh, we're going to add some more of these and we need to put some portals in the front because this is going to be super ugly. Yep. As I suspected, super ugly. <clears throat> also didn't put down a sniper location because I forgot. Fire those randomly. <coughs> I guess we'll see. So lots of gunners. In the way, I need uh, I need him to snipe. It's going to be really important to get him uh, get him sniping. I don't have an angle. I was just telling him I don't have snipe angle on top. Bring it down just a little bit. That's a great snipe and a buzzsaw. Beauty. The core lives. The core lives. Uh, I was not expecting that, you guys. That was not uh, supposed to happen.
And it looks like a sell-off. Guys, we actually beat Mateo and Mandalorian Jedi with incendiary mortars and swarms. That is hilarious. Guys, new strats, pinch fist sucks. Firebird is where it's at, guys. Thank you so much for watching Synergy Gaming TV. I am your host, Synergy, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Can't believe that worked. <laughs>